So how, how does the Communist Party pick these this talent? Do they like do they do it like US? I'm sure they don't because I mean, how how do they get the best talent out of? Like I said, he groomed three generations ten year apart. A wow. jet a jet a group comes in, they remain in place for ten years with different priorities. Okay. Uh, for instance, for Jiang Zemin, here was the, the, the challenge. China grew so much that they surpassed their ability to produce energy resources to continue to fuel their economy. Right. What the Chinese were able to produce in, inside China in terms of production of fossil fuel surpassed, uh, lagged behind their energy. So in 1994, 95, I think, Jiang Zemin went to Africa looking for energy supplies. That's where the Chinese venture or the Chinese engagement of Africa actually started. The Chinese exhausted their resources. They were growing so fast. They were growing so fast that they needed to go out. In fact, that's what they say, going global. Going global. And the place they went to is not the Middle East. The Middle East was in chaos in, in the 1990s after the Iraq invasion. Uh, the United States felt at that time they had won the competition with uh, Russia. with uh, global communism. Mm -hmm. In fact, someone, a political scientist, wrote this book called The End of History. Yes. In which he predicted, that's Francis Fukuyama, predicted that the rest of the world is going to follow the United States as a democratic capitalist society in which the free market and free elections Free political competition, free economic competition rules everything. 